missed this. You have put a fair distance between yourself and the Gowagaz, but the Vardax are able to unleash their terrible psychic powers upon you. Shrieking hideously, they are desperate to kill you before the Somers Word can be used against them. The Veda of the Somers Word catches and deflects most of their psychic rage, but still enough to get through to leave you shocked and staggered. You fall to one knee and remain in it just long enough for the Gowagaz to close in. Snarling and enraged, the beast comes striding towards you with the Vardax following closely in its wake. You regain your feet only just in time to meet its initial assault. Do I have to fight all three of these at once? Because that's going to be a lot of health that I need to uh, that I need to use. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh my god, it is. I am fighting three at once. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Oh, I'm s Ah, crap. I can't move. Nice try, but I have my shield. Oh my god. Oh, did I lose my turn? That is absolute horseshit. What? <laughs> of course, I lost my turn. And now I'm stunned. They keep hitting me with stuff that is literally rendering me useless, because I can't do anything. No. The Gowagaz is going to get to hit me now. Yep. Oh, grab me, of course. I need to use, uh... Heal. ASAP. I'll use this. This works, too. This will burn them. That'll be useful. Boop. I'm so glad to have this back in my possession. Yay! Now I need to heal. Heal. It's fucking hell, they did a lot of damage. Now you have two and a half. Hmm. Fuck's sake. I was gonna say, hope for the best. Uh. Yeah! Dun dun dun. Oh, for fuck's sake! Since when, uh, apparently, Gowagaz are not very, uh, you know, quick or agile, but apparently they are, because that one dodged both good attacks of mine. Great. Oh my god, that does so much damage. It's healing itself. The other one will probably do the same. That's doing 450. Oh my god. I win! Woohoo! I can't believe it's taken off 450. There we go, one died. Oh, it didn't die from my attack though, so that's why it didn't... work. That sucks. I'll just do this. Oh wait. He has more than 400 health. Oops. Yeah, I just realized. Fingers crossed. Yes! I got you! Oh, yeah. Ah. Whee! It's weird how when he throws the sword, it makes no noise. It just kind of sticks into them. But, oh well. Do-do. Do-do. Yay, I win. <laughs> right. We got a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. The Galgaz lies in a sizzling heap. The thick flesh of its left side melting away in the pool of burning acid left behind by the first Vardak you struck down. The Vardak's crimson heart gem is rapidly turning to powder, having been cleaved in two by your killing blow. The second Vardak is down, but it is still struggling to survive. It is yet to transform into a mess of corruption and blistering bile. It glares at you, its inhuman eyes burning with pain and bitter hatred. You were never to awaken from its dying words are spoken in the dark tongue, the vile language that is employed by only the most powerful of Nars servitors and minions. Although you learn to recognize fragments of the dark tongue as part of your Kai training, 
You were not warned of the physical and psychic pain that this foul language can inflict upon humans in the confines of a closed chamber. From the shadow sleep, the, the amulet. Fortunately, the Vordak succumbs to its wounds before it can utter another foul word. Its body dissolves quickly into a vicious, caustic pool of foulness. You take a quick step back to stay to stay safe, stay safe from the vile-smelling residue as it spreads toward your feet. Having now slain the Vordax and their Gawagans enforcer, you rejoice in the fact that you have retrieved the Summer Sword and are now best armed to face enemies in the higher levels of this grim tower. You are mindful that there is still much to do. Poor Mad Grigol is, is likely still here. You should visit him again and see if there is a way to help the wretched smith regain his senses or at least escape from this terrible place. Leandra's location remains a mystery. Hopefully you will be able to find out and rescue her. Find and rescue her before it's too late. Although she disobeyed you and rushed headlong into Batag while you battled Abysmal, she is still a friend and a citizen of Rockstar. It's your duty to save her if you can, but for now you can only pray to God Kai that she is still alive, and perhaps the most daunting of your thoughts, you know that Warlord Gunzai is awaiting you. He defeated you once, striking you down during your last encounter. You sense that the time is fast approaching when you will be able to pay him back for, the bit for that bitter humiliation. Is that going to give me a second mission? Oh, it did! Hmm. That's nice. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try. Oh god. Ah. Yeah! Good. I thought it wasn't gonna work. Because it seemed to move really slowly. Hey, we made it. Uh, I wanna write the story. You make your way back to the forge chamber and show Grigol the sample of pure Bronin you have discovered. The wretched young blacksmith is unable to recall your earlier meeting. He assumes that you are a Drekarim officer who has come here to ask with a task for him to perform. He takes the Bronin from your outstretched hand and holds it close to his eyes. An awkward grin spreads slowly across his sweat-drenched face. Kestakor, Kestakor, much strong, much strong, he says excitedly in broken Giak. Shazag, Mogadak... Not Zag, sword, mace, or axe. Oh, this will be a new a new upgrade. Mm. Oh, these are what they look like. I'll go with an axe. Grigol sets about forging, about forging a Bronin axe for you with surprising vigor. His weapon smithing skills are quite remarkable. And you observe him working with a newfound respect. In less than an hour, Grigor fashions for you a Bronin axe of impressive quality. It is perfectly balanced and it is a razor sharp blade. Hmm? Sundera. Oh my god. Yes. Please. I want to upgrade that fully. Grigor beams with pride as he passes a weapon to you for inspection. Okay, keg hockey, Gee, you are much pleased, yes? Gee, Grigol. Yes, Grigol. You reply with true sincerity. Ok, keg hockey, me much pleased. Grigol returns to his anvil and begins to mumble your reply, reply repeatedly to him. To himself. Ok, keg hockey, ok, keg hockey, ok, keg, keg, hoagie, hoagie, not hoagie. This Bronin weapon is one of the finest you have ever held in your hand, and you feel certain that its qualities will be put to the test before you leave this accursed tower. You bid Grigor farewell, but he does not hear you. He is now lost forever in his tragically sad and lonely world. Ah. Grigor sad. <laughs> it's better than the verdict, huh? Wait. Yeah. That's the best one. Upgrade! Wait, what? Oh, they need repairing. I was like, how the hell do they have upgrades? They're full. That did now make sense. Oh, with the Kai armor. Ooh, that's not really that expensive. It was the weapon more than anything. Oh my god, I need hardened Bronin Kinsle Kings. Oh my god. Three, two. Three hardened Bronin. 
and two kings of leather. Woohoo! This is going to be expensive. I'll assume I'll need more than just two. I have loads of money though. I'll buy ten. I have enough. I have to buy. I have to buy the upgrade as well. Right, cool. If I can get this to fully upgraded, it'll be awesome. Uh, yeah, upgrade. Yeah, yeah. Yep, I have enough. I might need to buy Desi Walnut. Fuck, I need hard brown in and two Desi Walnuts. Thought as much. Uh, three brown in and two Desi Walnut. Uh, three Desi Walnuts. Desi Walnut. There it is. I don't know if I needed two or three, so I'll just buy three. Same for the brown in. Nice. Woohoo! I mean, that cost me quite a lot, but eh, worth it. Yes. Oh my god, strength plus eight. Jesus. And 5% crit, so it's got a high chance of crit. Criticals. Which is cool. Alright, now we've done that. We can go to the main mission and probably fight something on the way. Ah? Uh, ah, uh, there we go. Oh no, we didn't fight anything. Awesome. I do, yes. Upon emerging onto the third, third floor, you find yourself standing in a vast chamber. The air hangs heavy here with the cloying stench of corruption and decay. The taint of underneath... Undeath. <laughs> undeath fills this hall, like a vile and translucent incense that, wasf that wafts through the gloomy half-lit... It distorts all detail. What? Half-light. Oh. It distorts all detail. Its dark walls are emblazoned with crimson banners bearing strange and unsettling sigils. Every flag is different to the next, and they each have a specific significance. You recognize them as Vodak sigils, and a sudden chill runs down the length of your spine. The third floor could be where the undead sorcerers of the tower are stationed. Here, Abysmal itself may have planned its raid in the temple. You have already faced many of its undead brethren, including the ones that were guarding the Somersword, but you cannot be sure about their remaining numbers. As ghastly as this hall may be, you have little time in which to examine its depths and seek an exit. Through a door in the far wall, a robed figure with glo was that gloves or, or glowing eyes and gaunt hands emerges to confront you. Your pulse quickens, for there is nowhere for you to run and hide from the psychic senses of th that this sorceress fiend possesses, especially here in its personal domain within the fortress. You steal yourself for the deadly combat that is about to commence. Ba -ba -da -ba. Wow. Do 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 dum. Yay, we have to fight a Vordak. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh god no. Uh shit. That drained my Kai. Jesus! What a douche. Oh, great. What the f- I can't use any psychic powers. I can use this, though! Rawr! Nice! And they're all on fire. So, hopefully that puts a spanner in the works. Yeah, I hope it does. Nice! I didn't equip the new axe. Oops. I'd forgotten. Oh well. Oh, nice. Yeah, listen. It don't make no noise. Just boosh. It makes like a little fleshy noise, but that's about it. You'd think it'd make a really, really loud noise. But nope. Supposedly not. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I, might, I think I have enough for both of these. Whee! There goes one. I'm back to Volkai. Very good. 
No oh, wait. Oh, it's definitely dead. I could have killed it with a dagger. Damn it. Oh, that also doesn't really make much noise. It's weird. Woohoo! Dum ba dum ba dum.